There are two projects. One is project X. Another one is project Y. If they mention that it is a CBD, then we go for this calculation. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six. These are the present value factors. If you spend one rupee, you will get one rupee zero six paise. If you spend one rupee in Y, you will get one rupee thirteen paise. But no need to calculate. It will be given in the question paper itself. A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Adi Sir here, lecturer in Vidya Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session five area, unit five of topic called capital budgeting. And our capital budgeting, what we are going to discuss and what we are going to complete. And in today's session, the same way we go with ARR, we go with payback period also. Now. In today's session, we'll go with concept, meaning, as well as problems. A firm is contemplating to invest in project. It has two mutually exclusive alternatives: project X and project Y. The firm has with it rupees ten lakh to invest. The following are the cash inflow for five years. What is the cash inflow for five years? The cash inflow are like this. There are there are two projects. One is project X. Another one is project Y. So out of X and Y, which one we are supposed to consider? Now, so evaluate the two alternative under NPV at ten percent capitalization rate, and we have to find out the PI profitability index also. The PV factor if for one to five years is zero point nine zero. See. If it is ten percent, means remember how to calculate one divided by one plus rate. It is already given in the question. Sometimes they don't give you. Sometimes they don't give you. Then how to find out? Now, one divided by one plus R. In this, one divided by so one plus R means one plus. What is the percentage? The percentage is. Ten percent, ten percent in the sense zero point one zero. It will be one divided by one point one zero. One divided by one point one zero. If you calculate, you will get zero point nine zero nine. If you are using calculator, after getting zero point nine zero nine, just press equals, then you will get. 0.826 again equals 0.751 equals 0.683 equals 0.621 all the five years you can calculate in the calci itself but no need to calculate it will be given in the question paper itself now the first thing is your solution project x and project y have they asked about your payback period no Payback period is not as means directly we can go for your normal calculation. What are the CAF cash inflow they have given? Remember they have not mentioned that CBDT cash flow before depreciation and taxation. Cash flow before depreciation and taxation. Now cash flow before depreciation and taxation in this. They have not mentioned that it is a cash flow before depreciation and taxation. That is the reason. That is the reason we will not go with all your plus depreciation, minus taxation. All those we will not do. Directly we go with the final answer. And in the question paper, they have not mentioned about depreciation. They have not mentioned about taxation. So whatever answer is given, this is after doing all calculation. Your your income inflow plus minus depreciation minus tax plus depreciation, you get net cash inflow. This is already given. These calculations not required. Hope you are clear. In case they mention that CBDT for five years, then what you have to do? Then you have to do all this calculation. Hope you are clear. Everybody get confused in this, but remember, unless and until they mention CBDT, we cannot go for 
this calculation. If they mention that it is a CB degree, then we go for this calculation. Now, so your first x is 1 lakh, 2 lakh, 3 lakh, 4 lakh, 5 lakh, and a y is 3 lakh, 3 lakh, 3 lakh, 3 lakh, 3 lakh. Where it is? See in your question. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3 lakh, 3 lakh, 3 lakh, 3 lakh, 3 lakh. Now, as per this, what happens? You have written everything, yes. What is the percentage we have? As per 10%, 0 0.90, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.621. Hope you are clear. Yes, we got all this information. Once you are done with this, what is the next part? The next part will be just multiply. 1 lakh into 0 0.90, 2 lakh into 0 0.8, 3 lakh into 0 0.7, 4 lakh into 0 0.6, 5 lakh into 0 0.621. If you multiply, your answer will be 90,900, 1 lakh 65, 2 lakh 25, 2 lakh 73, 3 lakh 10,000. Hope you are clear. Yes. And project Y, project Y, under project Y what happens, just multiply, same thing, you have done multiplication for these two, again there is a multiplication for these two, 3 lakh into 0 0.9, 3 lakh into 0 0.8, 3 lakh into 0 0.7, 3 lakh into 0 0.7, all these calculations are done. How much you got? 11,37. In this, what is your investment? 10 lakh. I'll show you investment. These are your investment. So, what is the formula for your NPV? Yes. So, whatever the total present value, CIF divided by investment. What is your CIF? As per X, your CIF is 10 lakh 65. As per Y, your CIF is around 11 lakh 37 thousand. Now, from this, you minus 10 lakh and you minus 10 lakh. Now, so if you minus 10 lakh, how much you will get? Now, we go with Y now. In this Y, what happened? 11 lakh 37 minus 10 lakh, you got 1 lakh 37 thousand and come up with x. x what we have to do? We have to do a small changes. This has to be here. Total of this is how much? 10 lakh 65, 100. And your investment is how much? 10 lakh. What is the answer? 65, 100. Now, see, this is all about x. This is all about y. As per x, your calculation, 10 lakh 65 minus 10 lakh, you got 65,000 as your answer. 11 lakh 37 minus 10 lakh, 1 lakh 37 is your answer. See, if you go for project x, 65,000 is your answer. If you go for project y, 1 lakh 37,000 is your answer. Hope you are clear. Yes, so this will be your net present value and this will be net present value. X is better or Y is better? Y is better. Why? Because as per X, you get only 65,000. As per Y, you get 137 more you will get. That's why project Y will be accepted. This is done. Next is what? Profitability index. See, they have mentioned that NPV of project Y is more than project X, therefore project Y is accepted. Now, so calculation of profitability index, total present value divided by initial investment. We will not minus, we will divide. See, your format was, it was minus, but now we will do what? Division. This minus this. For X, 10,65, divided by 10 lakh, 11 lakh 37 divided by 10 lakh, 10 lakh 65 divided by 10 lakh, 11 lakh 37 divided by 10 lakh, as per x your PI profitability index is 1.065, as per y 
your profitability index is 1.137 hope you are clear good now so these are your information if you spend 1 rupee you will get 1 rupee 06 paise if you spend 1 rupee in y you will get 1 rupee 13 paise hope you are clear good so these are your project x and project y hope you are clear yes good so the profitability index is more than one in case of both the project therefore project both the projects can be accepted but normally we go with what normally we go with your project y because your return is more compared to x hope you are clear yes i'll go back to your previous slide before that yes problem one please take a screenshot then we go for problem two so we have problem number one solution part and this is your final answer now we'll go for problem number two almost it is the last problem in your capital budgeting under capital budgeting, ABC Limited is considering to invest either on project X or project Y. Assuming the rate of return is 10%, evaluate the project proposals by. So we have to do average rate of return, profitability index, net present value and the last one payback period. Everything we have to go. I'll go one by one and we have project like there are total how many years? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 years. What are the inv return investment for project X is 50,000, for project Y is 60,000. And number of years 5, number of years 6. And net income after depreciation and tax. See, after depreciation and tax, this is your final answer. 1002, 2, 5, 6, 7, 7, 9, 10, 9, 11 and 6th year we don't have income but 6th year we have income. Why? Because this project is only for 5 years and this project is for how many years? 6 years. Hope you are clear. Yes. So next. It is estimated that each of the project will require an additional capital of rupees. 5000 depreciation is allowed under straight line method present value of rupees 1 at 10 percent given below in this year 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are the present value factors now directly i'll go for your npv calculation before npv calculation now see profit after tax 1200 add depreciation because in the question they have mentioned that income after depreciation and tax tax we can minus but depreciation we have to add back after means it is already deducted we have to add it back so profit after tax we know what is the depreciation they have not mentioned anything means that depreciation is your investment is 50,000 number of years 5 your depreciation is 10,000 what is your depreciation your depreciation is 10,000 now so 10,000 is your depreciation <laughs> so after this 10,000 your depreciation present value then 10,000 all your depreciation add back 1200 plus 10 all these answer you got similarly for project Y all the income you have written, depreciation you have added, your answer is 22. We will not minus taxation, it is already deducted, only we add depreciation. Now, once you are done with this, the total is how much? 17. And in the question they have mentioned that 5000 additional capital, so plus 5000 plus 5, 17 plus 5, 22, 500, 22 plus 5, 27,000. Hope you are clear. Yes. So simple calculation. They have given that 
द प्रॉफिट आफ्टर डिप्रिसिएशन आफ्टर टैक्स आफ्टर टैक्स इज ओके बट आफ्टर डिप्रिसिएशन मीन्स इट इज ऑलरेडी डिडक्टेड वी हैव टू एड बैक सो वी हैव जस्ट डिप्रिसिएशन वी एडेड जस्ट वी एडेड डिप्रिसिएशन क्लियर यस सो आफ्टर दिस प्रोजेक्ट एक्स ओरिजिनल कॉस्ट एंड एडिशनल योर कॉस्ट इज फिफ्टी एडिशनल इज फाइव कॉस्ट इज सिक्सटी एडिशनल इज फाइव सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड फिफ्टी फाइव योर इन्वेस्टमेंट नाउ इट इज नॉट फिफ्टी थाउजेंड बिकॉज देर इज ए एडिशनल इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफ फाइव दैट यू हैव टू एड कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ पे बैक पीरियड सो यू गॉट ऑल द आंसर ही सी लेवन टू हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन सेवनटीन थाउजेंड नाइनटीन थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन ऑल दिज यूर इनकम राइट ऑल द इनकम राइट क्यूमुलेटिव हाउ टू कैलकुलेट क्यूमुलेटिव लेवन टू हंड्रेड प्लस ट्वेल्व इट विल बी ट्वेंटी थ्री प्लस फिफ्टीन थर्टी एट प्लस सिक्सटीन फिफ्टी फोर प्लस सेवनटीन सेवेंटी वन टू हंड्रेड नाउ सो सिमिलरली वी एड बैक एवरीथिंग यू गेट क्यूमुलेटिव वन लैख एटीन सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड Accumulative it ends on seventy-one two hundred. So this is only five years, and this is for six years. What is your investment? Fifty-five. When do you get in between? What is your investment? Sixty-five. Where do you get one, two, three, four? In between you will get. In this, in between you will. Now, so you have fifty-five thousand. Number of years: C, one, two, three, four. Fourth year, how much you got? Fifty-four, two hundred. How much more you need? Another eight hundred needed. Fifty-four, two hundred. You got another eight hundred needed. So, another eight hundred. Now, difference between fourth and fifth year. Difference between fourth and fifth year. So it will be seventeen thousand. So it will be what? Eight hundred divided by seventeen thousand. You got zero point zero four seven. Four year plus zero point zero four seven. Four point zero four seven. Hope you are clear. Yes. Similarly, project Y original cost is sixty plus five sixty five. I'll go back. Sixty five. You will get one two three. In between third and fourth year. So three plus three. Plus now you got fifty six thousand, but we need sixty five. Sixty five minus fifty six six hundred. The answer is around eight thousand four hundred. Eight thousand four hundred difference is nineteen thousand. You got zero point four four two. Your answer is three point four four two. Now notice payable period of project Y is less than project X. Therefore, project Y is preferred for investment. Hope you are clear. Yes. Your question, question number two, question, and this is your question. End of your question. Your solution part one, solution part two, solution part three. This is your last part of your solution. So this is all about your today session. For second problem, profitability index we have not done, NPV we have not done. It is your homework you have to do because you know what is the total. Total divided by investment it will be your PI. Total minus investment it will be your what? NPV. Please work out at home. These two problems are very important. Thank you.